Welcome back. It's a new work day in a new game. And Sonny Bones is just going to have a routine work day. I'm sure nothing interesting will happen today. Let's go inside. You unlock and open the door. There we go. It's the police station. You're in Litland's newly remodeled police station. This is the hall. There are several doors, a counter, and an evidence window. There are also um, two pictures on the wall. One is a former police chief Whipplestick, and the other of current police chief Eric Click Heitman. Interesting. I gotta say, I like uh, the leather jacket that Sonny appears to be wearing. It goes with the whole 80s police uh, TV show that they're, uh, th th that kind of vibe that they seem to be trying to create here. The intro definitely gave me that uh, that vibe. Let's check some of these doors. What office is this? Is this our office? I don't know. The narcotics office is equipped with five desks, a file cabinet, and various items hanging on the wall. On one of the desks is a computer. Okay, so this is the narcotics office. We well, used to work in narcotics in the previous game, uh, but not anymore. We are now in homicide, so this isn't in fact our office. Regardless, let's see who works here. Lloyd Pratt looks like he needs more sleep. Can we talk to him? Appearing slightly out of touch with his surroundings, your old friend Detective Lloyd Pratt slowly looks up and says, Well, slap me some tracks and feed me a line. Mr. Bonds, what's up? Nothing, just saying hello. Apparently, he's an old friend of ours. And let's see who this is. Kim Walters is a, is a young, attractive detective. Let's hope Marie didn't hear you say that. Have you heard the latest album from Blam? It's great! <laughs> okay. Just to make sure we don't forget it's the 80s. Steve Jones eagerly works away on... something. Narcotics detective Steve Jones looks up and says, Hello, Sonny. Would you like to hear one of my famous poems? Well, all right. A grievance form. You want to begin it, because you've been hassled by the lieutenant. It makes its way through the required channels, and is finally heard by the review board panel. The envelope you open, you read, you quiver. You've earned a footbeat down by the river. Okay, that was terrible. Almost as bad as Vogon poetry. Now let's look at this man. He looks familiar. Maybe. Lieutenant Dooley looks like he is in deep thought. It's our old boss, Sergeant Dooley from Police Quest 1. Seems he's been promoted and now is in charge of narcotics. Talk to him. Sure is nice weather we're having. Can't we reminisce about uh, the Hotel Del Foria case or whatever, or the stolen Cadillac, or all the other fun times we had? Apparently not. Okay, well, this isn't our office, so let's uh, stop loitering and check the next door. Let's see. This is the homicide office. Okay, that's where we work then. Nice. The homicide office is equipped with five desks, a file cabinet, a locker, and various other items hanging on the wall. One of the desks on one of the desks is a computer. Ah, the good old days when you could have one computer for an entire office. Let's see who this is. He looks like the guy in charge. 
Captain Fletcher Hall is a very large man with an overpowering presence. So he is the guy in charge. The captain is on the phone. Okay, okay. Anything interesting on his desk? This is Captain Fletcher Hall's desk. On it, you see some folders and papers. Let's look at the papers. One thing you may have noticed by now is that uh, the parser in this game works a little bit different. Instead of having a continuous line of text at the bottom of the screen, you have this pop-up that appears whenever you start typing. And one of the consequences of this um, is that the game actually pauses while you're typing. Which is nice, because you don't have to hurry to type certain things uh, like you would have to do in some of the older games. You can take all the time you want now. Among the many papers on Captain Hall's desks, desk, one catches your interest. You read, Passwords, Miami, Ice Cream, Pistachio. It's good security practice to uh, put your passwords on a piece of paper on top of your desk where everyone can read it. <laughs> Nevertheless, we got uh, points for noticing that. Let's see, who's over here? Although short, Detective Jim Pearson keeps himself in excellent physical condition. He rarely speaks unless spoken to. Yo, Sonny, mumbles Detective Jim Brambo Pearson. I'm on the phone. Okay. A bulletin board. You scan the bulletin board and see the shooting schedule. Below the board is a rack of car keys. The shooting schedule indicates you are behind on your scores. No, oh, I guess that means we need to do some uh, practice later. And we're going to need the keys for the unmarked car as well. Let's check this desk. Your desk is equipped with drawers, a phone, a message basket, and a lamp. Okay, this is our desk. We have our own desk. Nice. I guess that makes sense. And let's check if we have any messages. In the basket you see a subpoena. You pick up and read the subpoena. You are commanded to appear in Division 4, Superior Court of the City of Lytton, as a witness for the people in the retrial matter against the defendant, Jesse Baines. Notification of time and date will, will follow. What? Jesse Baines is going for retrial? You can't believe what you just read. Just as the memory of this rat was passing into oblivion, he's back for a retrial. That is not a good thing. Why the hell can he have a retrial? I mean, he killed uh, at least one person, probably more. He tried to kill me. He ran a drugs ring. He did illegal gambling. I mean, what more do you want? Honestly. Oh, and this guy is apparently our partner, Keith. Your partner, Keith, takes a deep puff and says... Say, Sonny, I heard that dirtback you sent up the river last year is back in town for a retrial. Isn't his name Baines or something like that? Maybe this time you can put him away for the duration. Yeah, that'd be nice. It just seems the garbage of this world gets every chance known to man. Let's look at Keith. Your partner, Keith Robinson, is an easygoing veteran detective. He doesn't let his job interfere with his relaxation. Yeah, I can tell just just from his posture that uh, he has relaxing down to a fine art. And he's smoking. I bet if this game was made now, he wouldn't be smoking. Because <laughs> of uh, political correctness and stuff like that. Whatever. Um, let's sit down. And take a look in our drawer. Which you can only do when sitting down. You unlock and open your drawer. There's two things in it. Your desk drawer contains thank you letter, 
wallet. Okay. Let's read that letter. A card from your good friend Marie Wilkins. On it is the message. Sonny, thank you for turning my life around. Love, Marie. And it has a kiss on it. In lipstick. Cute. Let's get that wallet as well. Okay. And close the drawer. But we'll continue in the next video.